My name is Katie Moran. I am currently serving as the Senior High Youth Director at Abiding Presence Lutheran Church in Burke, Virginia, with the intention of beginning seminary in the fall of 2019 to pursue my Master of Divinity and become an ordained pastor of the ELCA. I strive to be an effective and inspired leader. As I have worked in various leadership roles as a camp counselor, an area director, a leader in my service fraternity, and other various leadership opportunities, I have found that I am at my best as a leader when I am just as engaged with those I am leading. I am not afraid to roll up my sleeves and lead by example. I believe strongly in the saying of walking the walk and not just talking the talk. I would not ask someone to do something that I myself am not willing to do. This allows me to be better connected and more empathetic to those around me and create trusting relationships with the people I am working with. By fostering these relationships of mutual respect, I have found that the people I have worked with are more motivated and effective in the tasks at hand. This also challenges me to really think about the type of example and type of leader I want to be for those around me. At camp, we often talk about leading from the front, leading from the middle, and leading from the back. A leader should be able to lead from all three of these positions, although for many, we have a preference of one or possibly two. Leading from the front is how we guide the people and this provides the model and the structure of leadership for the group. Leading from the middle is being in it with the people. You are just as invested as they are and leading from the back is to empower others and ensure that the model is being upheld, not always through your own leadership abilities. This leadership style of all three combined is something that I have carried with me into every new role and constantly try to uphold. Within the next 10 years, I think one of the most significant challenges that the ELCA will face is trying to connect or plug into the community at large. In my experience, young adults and teenagers especially are becoming more and more disillusioned with the traditional construct of the church. They often decry the hypocrisy that is associated with it and question if the church really values them as people as much as they claim. There is also a distinct lack of an authentic Christ-like community to rally behind and support that can be found found outside of a traditional church model. And while change in the church is not new, there is a discomfort at the idea of opening up our traditions and embracing some of these necessary changes. The church is one that shares the gospel to a world of change, and we need to be a church that rises up and meets these changes head on, embracing them. As a hopeful future rostered leader in the church, and in my current role as a youth director, I have found that extending the hand is a great way to help people young and old engage in the church. This extension is often more than a meeting of halfway. Sometimes we have to meet people nearly the entire way there, only three quarters, or barely just reach out for them at all. Regardless, we as leaders in the church have to be prepared to meet people where they are on their faith journeys and help guide them in growing and nurturing their faith. Creating opportunities to form a dialogue that extends outside of church or Sunday mornings can be incredibly impactful especially for young people who are trying to find their way with God. A part of my mission that I plan to carry into my future ministry endeavors is to help people discover daily God moments outside of traditional forms that we usually typically associate with seeing God, like Bible study, Sunday school, and church. In the ELCA, we are called to be missional leaders, leading by example and truly embracing the mission of Christ. But we have to make the intentional and conscious decision every day to live in that model and embrace that mission. Thank you for your time and consideration.